about what it's like putting on these shows. Like, what is the, like the the biggest thing that you have to deal with to get a show underway? I mean, the most important part of my job is to deal with the vastness of the universe and the details of every I and every T. So it's everything. I mean, we're in charge of every part. So the models, the casting, the collection, the editing of the collection, the delivery of the collection, the sound, the music, the lighting, the set design, who's coming, who's not coming, who's wearing the designer, what celebrities are going to come, what editors are going to be there, what's going to happen with the collection afterward, how are we doing the sales, what retailers are invited. So we're really, even the design of the invitation, we're really involved with every detail. So when does a designer know that they're ready to come to New York Fashion Week and hire you? Some people think that they are ready to come to New York Fashion Week and they're not. And some people don't think that they are and they should have been here a long time ago. I mean, it's our job to be a filter and say, yes, you should be, or frankly, you can pay us enough money to help you. I, I don't think that there's one way to go about being successful. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't think I'm the person to tell people what they need to know. If you have a great heart and you think that you make cool, creative things, then you should head toward the energy of where the cool creative people are and try to get the attention of some who are a little more established than you and find somebody to believe in you, an ambassador. Um, and for the people who don't believe in you, you should run away from them until you find someone who does, I think is probably the best thing. That's probably the best advice I've ever heard. <laughs> Thanks so Thank much. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye.